astounding place. My mother told me about this place. She said that the village was devoured by the houses of the sons. How could the chief accept this? All that's left to do is find Father Justinius. Welcome to Eden, the lighthouse of faith, harmony, and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. De Sade, I am the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Father Justinius. Delighted. And what may I do for you? The Mother Cardinal has asked me to investigate the theft of these tablets you discovered. That's excellent news. The loss of the tablets is a catastrophe. We have to find them at all costs. If you want to learn more about these tablets, you should go ask Sister Eugenia. She supervises the theologians who discovered them and were also guarding them. You should find her a bit further in the village with her colleagues. Who are the suspects of this theft? The heretical brutes of the village of Vedlug most likely had a hand in this. They must have wanted to please the demons they worship by stealing the holy word from us. How could they have learned of the tablet's existence? Uh, perhaps the demons are giving them this power. Unless one of the natives living in the village innocently mentioned them. <laughs> they are so naive. Either way, I am certain that the heretics are involved in this matter. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the Enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. I wondered how my people could accept the priest settling in their home like this. It all seems a bit too convenient. If we find out some information about the history of Eden, maybe we'll change our view on things. The theft of the relic is probably not a coincidence. Hello. I am Ler, the village leader. Well, I was the leader of this village. Hello. De Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. There are Onol Manawi among the Logaid Blau. I did not know that. What do you want from me? I have heard a lot of things about this village of Eden, but I'd like to hear your version. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm not sure Roy have the answers to all of your questions, but I'll try. Tell me about the arrival of the people of Teleme and how you received them. The priests were roaming around the village. They were saying that it was the place where their saint had lived. 
they were asking questions. Talking about the Lloyd and all these things. One morning they were building houses next to ours. And we had new neighbors. The priests told me that they had managed to convert you. How did that happen? As long as we refused to listen to them. They were violent, and they destroyed some of our sanctuaries. So we let them talk. And now that they think that we love their god, they leave us alone. Some of the things they say are beautiful, and their magic is impressive. But we do not forget our spirits. One of the theologians told me that you had helped them in their research. They wanted to find tracks of the old sage, of the one they call Saint Matthäus, and they were rummaging through everything. Our Donegad did not want to tell them anything, because the old sage is sacred here. But since they violently interrogated everyone, I thought it wise to guide them to the place where the stones were. What happened to your warriors? Why did they have to leave the village? They did not accept the presence of the priests and their questions. They tried to retake the village. They even asked Derdra, the chief of Vedlug, for her help. So, the priests called this soul Lassa, the Burning Sons, and they killed many of them. Oi asked for peace. And the others left us. They wanted to join Vedlug. Perhaps they have done so. Aren't you angry after all that happened? No. I mourn those who died, of course. And the Vorstirent. But this village may be our opportunity. Your opportunity for what? For the Renaigse to understand who we are. Not savages, nor monsters, but men, perhaps wiser than they are. I have to go. Like so many others. Father. I'm glad to see you, my child. What can I do for you? Tell me about how you created this village. We did not create it from the ground up. It was built around an existing native village. The islanders called it Vigsenegad, which translates to the village of the old sage. Huh. We saw it as a sign. The natives had probably chosen this name in memory of St. Matthäus, and everything here fit the description of St. Lucius. The discovery of the tablets proved us right. So, we decided to rebuild our Eden here, in the spirit of peace and harmony which is described in the scriptures. Why share this village with the natives? To replicate and resume the work of our founder, of course. If he came here, and manage to convert the natives, then it is our duty to do the same thing. By living side by side with them, it is much easier for us to pass on our teachings. How well do you get along with the natives who live here? Uh, very well, of course. Especially since those who opposed our presence left. Left? To go where? Oh, to other villages, I imagine. Does it even matter? Those who stayed are on the path of enlightenment. Some of their legends must have been about Saint Matthias. That helped to convince them. 
And how well have neighboring villagers welcomed you? With some reluctance, to be perfectly honest. So, we sent them missionaries. There are still frequent conflicts with the village of Vedlug, a highly violent village of heretics. But the other villages, the more peaceful ones, are slowly starting to listen to the sacred word. There are no Onol Manawi and no warriors here either. Did they all leave? Perfect harmony takes time, my child. I have no doubt that one day we will manage to convince your kind to convert. But in the meantime, we must settle for the miracle of great coexistence that this place already represents. Nobody thought we could live side by side with your people. And yet. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the Enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. I am busy. If you have questions, go see Sister Eugenia. She's our supervisor. Do you have any ideas about who stole the tablet? Some of the village savages helped us during the search. Perhaps they are behind all of this. There was a particular woman who seemed to want us to be there. I don't remember her name, though. If you are saying that these tablets bear writings from the very hand of our holy founder, then we must find them. Without them, all our research to trace the life of St. Matthias on this island is doomed to failure. If these savages have stolen them, we will have to take them back, by force if necessary. Hello. The Mother Cardinal asked me to help you find the tablets that were stolen. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. But hurry, I have a lot to do. I talked to Father Justinius. He told me that you were supervising the theologians here. Indeed. It is under my supervision that the research on St. Matthias is conducted. Whom do you suspect of being the thief? Oh, alas. I'm afraid there are many suspects. These tablets are priceless relics. Some settlers may have fallen prey to the lure of profit. The heretical natives of Vedlug may have wanted to take them away from us. Or it could have been vengeance by those who had to leave the village. Where were the tablets the night they were stolen? We were keeping them in one of the village's shacks. We intended to bring them to San Mateus later. But first, we wanted to examine them in order to obtain as much information as possible. You can go and take a look in the shack if you want to. But I couldn't find any traces of forced entry. I imagine that someone was keeping watch over them. Of course, we took turns guarding the shack. But some of us can't have taken the task that seriously. If I remember correctly, it was Brother Virgil who was guarding them that night. Well, thank you for these pieces of information. I am the one who should be thanking you. Especially if you manage to retrieve the tablets for us. The Mother Cardinal told me that this village had been developed on the basis of St. Lucius's writings. Are you one of the theologians who helped in its creation? Yes. I was sent here to confirm that this place is indeed the one described in the writings, and then I stayed. What was the reaction of the natives when you arrived here? Most of them were not in favor of us living amongst them. They were afraid we might chase them out of their own village. 
And there were even more protests once we started talking about searching for traces of Saint Mateus. I suppose they thought we would destroy all of their raised stones and other places of superstition. Were there any confrontations with the natives? Yes. The warriors of the village attacked us. The Ordo Luminous actually had to intervene. The Inquisition managed to make them run away. The islanders tried to attack again with the support of Vedlug, but we stood our ground. And when Lur, the chief of the village, finally accepted our presence, things calmed down. Thank you. This information will certainly prove to be useful. Thank you. I will let you work. Greetings. Desade. I'm handling the investigation into the theft of the tablets. Sister Eugenia told me to talk to you. I'm Brother Virgil. What would you like to know? According to your colleague, you were the one in charge of guarding the tablets on the night of the theft. Is that right? Indeed. What can you tell me about that night? Did you hear or see anything? No, nothing in particular. The night was quiet, and then the morning after, we saw they were gone. Someone had to enter the shack to steal the tablets. How did that happen? I have no idea. The door was closed in the morning, and the lock was intact. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Not really. What I can tell you for sure is it is not one of us. Well, Sister Eugenia did tell me that the tablets were priceless. Of course. But our motivation is not the lure of profit. All that matters to us is their value as proof, not the money we could make out of them. Do you think the culprit could be a native? Well, since none of us did it, it seems obvious. There aren't many other settlers around here. And the natives knew of the existence of these tablets before we found them. They were attached to them too, in their own way. They are the ones who led you to them. Well, we conducted the research, but they helped us find where they were hidden. Some inhabitants of the village are still giving us a hand with our work. Well, thank you. I will investigate where the theft took place. As you wish. But you won't find anything there. And why does it matter, anyway? There were witnesses to the discovery of these tablets. We have all the proof we need. And that's all that matters. What do you mean? Now we can prove Saint Matthias lived here. Our actions on this island are justified. To keep rummaging the way Sister Eugenia does will only create more tensions with the natives. I was not expecting a theologian to say such things. Have you been in Eden for a long time? Two months, approximately. Back then, there were still some pagan natives in the village. I joined Sister Eugenia's team with some of my colleagues, so we could give them a fresh outlook on things. We arrived straight from Teleme, hoping to study some new texts. But once we were here, I understood that my real mission was with the islanders. We must bring the light to this island. How are your relations with the natives? When I arrived, we were still trying to obtain information from them about Saint Matthias. But they were very reluctant to give us any answers. We were also trying to educate them. Our attempts eventually made some of the inhabitants of the village react badly. Most stubborn against our teachings, the warriors and the marked. The ones the natives call the Onomanawi. They eventually left, and it has proved nothing but a blessing for us. You talked about a mission with the natives. What did you mean by that? 
I may be under the command of Sister Eugenia here, but my superior is Bishop Domitius. Our mission is to banish pagan cults and convert the entire population to the light. The island belongs to Saint Matthias, and therefore to Teleme, since the God of Light offered it to our founder. You have a very unique way of seeing things. I doubt everyone accepts it. I would like to go back to work now, if you don't mind. Of course. I will leave you to your work. Goodbye. I knew that the story would be more complex than we'd been told. The priests separated this village into two parts. The exiles must be brokenhearted, having left their clan behind. On the other hand, had they followed their chief's example, this wouldn't have happened. Either way, the resentment here is strong enough for a theft to occur. There's only one entrance, and the door shows no evidence of a break-in. This priest, Virgil, said that the night was calm. So calm that he probably fell asleep. So, the thieves only had to take the key from him. It's very likely that that's what happened. But someone must have informed them. It can't be a coincidence that they decided to steal it during the watch of the only neglectful guard. You think that the one who told them is in this village? We know that this theft could be an act of vengeance by the natives who were forced to leave here. They must still have allies in the village. Family or friends. We should go talk to the chief of the natives. He will certainly know who's close to the exiles and enough about the researchers to inform them. You have returned on all Manawi. Do you need something else? I think I know who stole the tablets. Really? I believe those who were exiled from your village seek vengeance because the missionaries forced them to leave. They must have taken the tablets with the help of someone else who stayed here. You may be right, but you may also be wrong. You do well to tell me what you know. Once the priests have reached the same conclusions as I have, how do you think they will interrogate you? You're probably right. The Inquisitors would come back, and my people would suffer. I do not want to break the peace that I did all I could to make. I think the name of the woman you are looking for is Vindwal. She helps the priests who seek the old sage. If she's helping the priests, why would she betray them now? Her son is one of the warriors who had to leave the village. He is filled with anger and fury. If you go talk to her, please do not hurt her. She is but a mother who acted according to her son's wishes. I have no intention of hurting her. But things may not be so simple when it comes to her son. I have to go. 
like so many others. Greetings. Are you Vindwal? Vertia Tumad. Yes, that is me. What do you want? What can you tell me about Lair, your former leader? He is a man of peace. Some people dislike him, not me. Everything he did, he did to save the village. But I think the Moind Shakers made him forget what we are. He almost speaks like them now. Listen, I know you helped the Exiles to steal the tablets of St. Matthias. No, this is not true. It wasn't me. There's no point in denying it. I know you did it for your son who had to leave the village. If you know that, then you know that I don't have the tablets. So what do you want from me? The only means of alleviating the situation with Teleme is to give the priests their tablets back. So if you do not want your son to suffer their wrath, it would be best if I could retrieve them discreetly. Uh, Bran and the rest of the Exiles are hiding in the woods, beyond the Stone Circle. If you want to take the tablets away from them without being seen, do not take the part on the left. It is riddled with traps. And please... Do not hurt my son.
Here's the place that Vindwal indicated. The exiles must be near. I hope you don't intend to fight them. They've already had to leave their families and their homes. They've suffered enough. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. Remember that we were told the area on the left was a trap. It would be smarter to take the other path. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. It. What are you doing here? I'm not here to fight you, but I must retrieve the tablets of Saint Matthias. What? How do you know we have them? And how? Not for thee. We will not give them back. We lost our homes and families, so the priests lose their sacred stones. I could do something for you in exchange for the tablets. You are a Renaixe. You cannot help us. I am also an Onol Manawi. So? We want to join the Sengeden Anadas, Derdre's clan. But she only accepts warriors, and not all of us are warriors. Give us a family and a home, and we will give you back the priest's stones. Very well. I will go see her. I hope that we managed to convince Deirdre. So, what did Derdre say? I haven't had the time to take care of it yet. I will come back once it's done.
You are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Indeed. I am from the Congregation of Merchants. My name is Desarde. To whom do I have the privilege? Sister Ephesia, envoy of Teleme, by the grace of the Illuminated. Enchanted. The Mother Cardinal has tasked me to investigate the activities of this village. She also sent me here to be your second. What excellent news. You cannot imagine how much comfort that brings me. How might I help you? How has your mission fared up until now, sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their... priest... are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps. Although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you.
Bird dear to mud on all Menawi. Oi and Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. It's probably because you are an Onol Menawi that you are different from the other Renaixe. What do you seek? I come on behalf of the exiles of Vix or Nagad. They'd like to join your clan. Some already have done. The others should just do like them and undergo the trials of the warriors. But not all of them are warriors. We're about to go to war. Those who do not know how to fight have no place amongst the Sengeden Anadas. Siora, why do you refuse to welcome the exiles? They want to fight the Renaigse, just like you. Why do you not welcome them amongst the Gaius Rad, if you have so much compassion for them? It is your clan they want to join, not mine. Make them change their mind. I will not change mine. I implore you to reconsider, Dedra. Though they may not all be fighters, these people will know how to make themselves useful in your village. Very well. You have helped us, and I trust in your judgment. You can tell the exiles that I'm waiting for them. Anything more? Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything. And that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect. All that surrounds us. And that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your rituals? Ah, I oh, have heard this question before. You sound like the mind shaker woman. The rituals are the business of the Donegada, not of the Renoixe. Anything more? Concerning this story about a sect... Enough! Enough questions! I have nothing more to say. I'm glad I managed to convince her. Now we'll be able to retrieve the tablets, and the Exiles will have a clan once more. What do you seek? Concerning this story about a sect... Enough! Enough! So, what did Derdra say? She accepted to welcome you all into her clan. I did not think that you'd manage to convince her. You can take the tablets. Thank you. I hope that you'll be happy in your new family. Adloradar. And you were right. You are more on Olmanawi than Renaixe.
What are you doing here? Oi was worried for my son. Oi wanted to make sure that everything was fine. Yes, everything is fine. He has joined the Senged in Anadas, and he gave me the tablets. Really? What about the others? Those who are not Foytas? I thought that Dedra did not want them. I managed to convince her to accept all of the exiles. I thank you for helping them. It is reassuring to hear that they are in a new clan. I retrieved your relics. Thank you. Thank you immensely. Thanks to them, we will be able to continue our research on St. Matthias. I am curious to know who is responsible for this theft. The culprit must be brought to justice. I do not want to point the finger at anyone. You have your relics back, and that's the only thing that matters. Your indulgence honors you. But how can we be certain that these thieves will not strike again if they are not punished? Had you respected this village, you would not have to look for a culprit. You settled here without even asking those who lived here for their opinion on the matter. Instead of talking about harmony, start taking action to really make it happen. But that is precisely what we desire more than anything. Oh, we may have been a bit clumsy in the beginning, but we'll make sure to improve things in the future. You really were a great help. I would be most grateful if you agreed to continue helping us. I might come back at some point, but alas, I am very busy. Naturally. Either way, we are certainly capable of continuing our research without you. Actually, I must go back to my work. Our next expedition must depart as soon as possible. Your next expedition? Our brave researchers must continue to follow the tracks of our founder on this island. In the meantime, here. Take this as a token of gratitude for the help you gave us. Thank you. I hope your expedition will be a success.
Ready to excite the crowd. Perfect. You've grown to love their faces. You know their tactics. The excellence are back. And they are now more ready than ever to fight to win with all their hearts. The fourth challenge. Green blood, my friend. Do you need something? I must leave you.
Public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. Incredible! Who would ever have believed that our excellence would have risen so high so quickly? A bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! <laughs> Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Move away! Things are about to get dicey! Come on! Let's see if you can ward off this.
You are now a champion of the arena. I must say that this is the first time I've ever seen such a young team leader win the title. Allow me to give you this. The prize awarded to champions. Thank you. I need to get going. Huh. A pity. Well... Come back again soon. Ready to excite the crowd.
I need to get going. Huh. A pity. Well, come back again soon. Hello, Your Excellency. I hope you're having a pleasant time. Very well. Goodbye, soldier. Ready to excite the crowd. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, what will it be? Justice cannot wait. I am ready to fight. Excellent. In that case, the arena awaits you. To show. You've won the affections of the crowd, and when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. I owe you my life, on Manawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. By what name should I address you? My name is Desarde. In fact, it's your cousin the merchant that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him. Ah, Anol Menawi! Oh, I'm glad to see you again. 
Oi, Ven! Oh, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this Honor Munawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought you back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan, the chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. <laughs>